But I feel like if you took most potentially pro 2A black folks, uh, minorities, <clears throat> and gave them some education, do a campaign, show them how to get a permit, show them how to get a CCW, offer courses, educate them, especially in a frickin' Detroit or in a, a, in a Chicago, show them where the gun stores are, show them how they can be you know, um, taught the fundamentals, offer them instructing, offer them uh, safe havens for what the sport they love and things they like to do. Walk them down the path of what it's like to compete and to enjoy those things. And I think you draw so many more people into the sport because I think, and I do believe this with all my heart, just like I, I, I campaigned very hard to see fitness and MMA and different groups come into the gun industry, I think there, that's a huge opportunity missed to bring a large group of hardworking, working class, minority folks. And let's be honest, um, that group is underserviced in the community. And it's underserviced from the standpoint, I'm not an advocate of you know, some of the policies that get put in place in terms of mandatory interviewing and things like, things like that. I, th I still believe in the capitalist mentality. Work hard and you'll get where you sure. are. Work hard. But I feel like there's been opportunity missed to educate. Yeah. I feel like that's where the biggest downfall is. Go into those markets. Set up shop. Find a way to organize. And build. Yeah. You know, you know John, um, you know, again, shaking the tree. You mm -hmm. know, I don't give a shit. You know, they, they got a lot of work to do to, to, to undo the wedge that's driven uh, between the black community uh, and the whole gun situation and, and just in general, but especially with the NRA. I mean, let's be real. We want to talk about gun control. The last time the NRA gave a fuck about gun control was when they were trying to control it from the Black Panthers. If you go back and look at your history, they were all about gun control when it was taking it out of the hands of brothers that were in the Black Panther Party. See what I mean? They don't want to deal with that. They don't want to deal with that history. They don't want to deal with that ugliness. They don't want to deal with that asshole side that they were clearly on. You, you know, gotta, most you most people don't that. even know what you're talking about. I know, I know, I, I, I know, I know. the history behind that. But what you just said, I would I would guarantee most people we'll listening right it. now, they don't know that. They don't know that story. They don't know that background. They don't know that that historical side of the NRA. And you know, and Q, thank you for sharing that because that is a tidbit of oh, knowledge. It's huge. It's, it's huge, huge. You know, and people don't know that. A lot of people talk about. You know, they're like, oh, you know. The government's coming to try to take our guns. You know, you know this happened in Germany or this happened here. That happened. Listen, this happened in America. You know, this happened in right. America, and most people don't know that. And I think they are doing a disservice, you know, Suresh, because I mean, let's just be real. Be honest with stuff. Get out in front of it. Step up. Say, hey, man, this was blah 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 blah. That would do more, like John's saying, to repair that, to build that that fence back up to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, I'm definitely. Just, I'm. You know, I, you know, I'm not a candy ass towards towards the NRA. I. You know, I, I have my thoughts, and I've aired them on previous episodes. My my thing is um, education first is always paramount. Uh, you can't talk from a thousand feet unless you lay. You you can't build a three decker house on a on a two decker foundation. Yeah. So you have to build the foundation, and I feel like, and I've said this, I've had conversations with the NRA. As Q is my witness, I've had direct conversations with people there, and I've said, you need to start being insanely real 